Hi, my name is Bernhard. Today I'm going to show you how you can use your Connect Scanner with the professional software solution Artex Studio. Okay, first of all, we fire up the software Artex Studio. Here we are. Um, then we go to the scan mode of the software, and this is this button. And you can see that the scanner is not yet connected. So then I plug in the USB cable from my ASUS Action Pro Live scanner. This is this device. And you can see that the software immediately recognized that the scanner is online. Then I go to the preview mode. And you can see on the on the screen that the scanner is actually capturing a scene in front of me. The minimum range for the scanner is about 40 centimeters and it goes back to upon, uh, about 1.5 meter. Now we're going to scan this toy car. I put a little horse on top of this car to give you an impression which level of detail the scanner is able to capture. The first scan took about 5 minutes and now I'm going to scan the bottom part of the car. The next step is in tools is the fine serial registration. Once this process is finished you get information about the registration error. So this is here shown in, in column quality. A big number means a big error, small number is a small error so you want to have a small number. In order to improve this number you can double click on the scan and you see every single uh, frame the scanner captured during the scanning process and every single frame has the information about the registration error. So if you sort all frames by their quality you get the bad aligned scans on the bottom. And now I just delete all scans which have a quality below let's say um, 2. So I select these scans and just delete them. What's left are just the scans which have a fairly good registration quality. In this case we improved the quality from 2.8 to 1.7. Next we go to Tools, Global Registration. Artex Studio did its best to align the frames and now we can fuse these single frames together. So we go to Tools and go to Fusion. And as a result, we get the 3D model of our toy car. The next step is to remove this box and all unwanted 3D data. So we go to the editor, eraser, rectangular section, hit the uh, control key and select information we do not need, erase. The eraser tool helps us to remove this artifact of the bowl as well. So I click on 3D selection and paint directly on the model. Erase. Okay. We're going to align our two scans. So blue is the top scan and green is the bottom scan. In order to align both scans I have to define points on both data which share the same position. For example this point and this one, this point and this, then on the back of the car for example this point and this point. Okay, enter. Here we are. I 
And finally, we can fuse these two scans to one single model. And here we are. You can see that the mesh still has some holes. We can easily fill these holes uh, at the edges point. And here you can see all these tiny little holes. Just click on select all and let them be repaired. Okay, and now we have a watertight 3D model of our toy car. Okay, we're done with our 3D model. I hope you enjoyed this little video on scanning with a Kinect type scanner and Arctic Studio. Um, as usually, I'll upload all files on Thingiverse. See you next time.